here's a GoPro pan and tilt. Um, I opened up a 9mm hole in the side to be able to put the, the plug into the GoPro, which I'm obviously filming from at the moment. Um, I use a Tiger DG4 multiplex servo, which is programmable. That servo gives me uh, 180 degrees, even a little more. But you need to program it using a Multimate or a, or a USB cable, because by default it's uh, 90 degrees. But I was very happy with that. I also limited the, the speed. It's a quite fast serv servo and very powerful. So this is the maximum speed that the pan will do. Uh, let's look at the very, very simple. It's a 12 gram Metal Gear uh, servo from uh, Emacs. <coughs> 12 gram. Uh, just use the, the plate, the attachment that the GoPro came with. Uh, added a, an angle here, a 90 degree angle and a, a clevis attachment for a 1.2 millimeter rod just going through another clevis point and when I, I have the center point quite tilted so when I, I tilt it up it goes not so much but when I tilt it down I get a, a good downward movement. I could make the, the arm longer but when you do that, you start to stress this small server quite a lot because it's a heavy camera and the wind going and all, all of it. So I, I thought that in some of the tests I stalled, it stalled. Um, I just use the basic uh, GoPro hinge. Uh, I put a little oil in it and some thread lock on the screws. So it uh, works very well as a pan and tilt system. <coughs> That's really all there is to it.